Well, welcome to my league films. I am Scotty with a with a asterisk thing. That's not asterisk thing. What's that? An accent mark? It don't matter what it is. Say Scott and then wait five seconds and say T. And we got Flynet J on the left. How you doing today, good sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, new how's, there, how's Arizona doing? Man, you know, I live in Cali, but um, it's all nah. good over here, man. It's all good. All I can't right. wait. Weather's nice. All right. I don't know if the weather is nice at 107 degrees in the wintertime. It's only 106. All right. All right. So today we have a good show packed up. We got talking about the X Men 97 show that's coming out March 20th. Okay. You excited for that? Did you watch that as a kid? Man, yeah, I watched it. Um, I actually watched quite a few X Men cartoons that they had out. I know, um, I believe it was WB used to have a couple, but yeah, X Men was one of the main. It was like X Men, Spider Man um quite a few cars like saturday morning cartoons that we had i mean pokemon like all of those so x-men was definitely on the list pokemon is an anime sir that's not a cartoon let's get it right i mean they, x-men's not anime no i said it's pokemon look right there see right all right ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna play the trailer we're gonna discuss the trailer <laughs> no, does pokemon count as an yeah, anime i got you does pokemon does count as an anime? anime sir i don't even want to i'll be i'll be back I don't even want to talk to this man. I Pokemon new... Cal- that's a serious question. I need, Cal- new, I, need, I need a new co-host. Uh, I don't think it can count. Watch the series finale of X-Men next Saturday morning. Pokemon Pokemon morning. Anime. Excuse me? I'm grateful to have the chance to say goodbye. I am proud of you all, my X-Men. This Fate lies in anime. our hands now. 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 We have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. No matter how dark it is, we must believe in each other. We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. To me, my X-Men. Magneto, the last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. Yeah, man. Um this this reaction. I thought I thought that looked awesome, man. I thought the anime up or the animation update definitely looks good. I mean, it looks Amazing. like the old one, just like a little bit more enhanced. But yeah, that definitely takes me back. Takes me back. Takes you back, Mr. Pokemon and anime. Yeah, Sir, I, you know, I, I am so slow. And you keep asking. It's the bad part. Yeah. I need a, I need you on the record. Yeah. So when we were, so when we were um probably about six. Pokemon came out like 95-ish going to 96. So it's Pokemon. No, I was not six in 95. <laughs> okay, no, I said when we were six and I went back, I said 95 to 96, whatever. So, <laughs> this is not that old. <laughs> terrible math. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> You don't even know his old what? birth year. Damn. Nobody knows when you were born, so <laughs> you are an enigma. <laughs> I mean, I was born when you were like eight. <laughs> that's, that's not right, but continue as you were saying. I did, I did the best I could in circumstances. <laughs> so when we were when we were of age, like in third grade, both of us in third grade. Poke on, on um WB, which is what it was back then, like channel 14. It was Pokemon, like three o'clock, car captors, Digimon, um Metabots. Remember Metabots? 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Might, uh, yeah. Uh, Ultimate Muscle, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and that was just on WB and Fox together. I, th- I think Digimon might have been on Fox too. Then you had the Toonami, the Dragon Ball Z, the Reboot, the Robotech, the Outlaw Star, stuff like that. And they didn't have like Toonami, all that stuff together with anime. Except for Reboot. Reboot was Canadian animation, but wasn't anime. Okay. Anime strictly Japanese animation. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and this okay. is American animation, the, the 97, which is very good art. Very good animation style back in the day. Very interesting. X-Men is actually a little bit different from Spider-Man. Just a little bit. Spider-Man and um, I think it was just X-Men, Spider-Man, and I think Black Panther came after that. Uh, Fantastic Four came after that. Hulk. Uh, when was um, Super Friends? Was that a little Super bit before? Friends, I think, was around before X-Men. I think this X-Men 97, not two, not X-Men 97, the first series of x-men before this came out like in 92 it was like 92 to 95 or 6 and that's why it's saying x-men 97 it's just because it was the first part of the trailer it's picking up right, right as first. soon as the professor died which i'm sure he's not going to be dead this season two he's not dead professor x is not going to die okay now what i want to bring to your attention is now you remember this cast i know you're not a geek like i am I mean, yeah. I mean, those are pretty much all the famous X Men. Everybody knows Rogue on the left, Jubilee. Can you name the cast? There. Can you name the cast? Oh, hold, on, hold on now, brother. Hold on now, brother. We putting you on the hot seat. Can you name the cast from left to right? That's Max. right. We got Rogue, Gambit, uh, Wolverine, Jubilee, Cyclops, Storm, Jean Grey, and Mister Beast. You are wrong because I have never heard anybody say Mr. Beast before, sir. So <laughs> let's, 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 throw, let's, let's throw that L up there. <laughs> My fault. That's the YouTuber beast. <laughs> let's, throw that, let's throw that L up there. Um, okay, now what I and then this is another thing I, I do want to talk about. But if no X-Men fans are calling this show woke, no X-Men fans are mad about this at all. But what they're angry about is this guy. Who you might not recognize him at all, right? Uh, I do not. That's Morph. Remember Morph from the show? He might be a slightly less. Yeah, I do. I don't remember Morph. There he is right there. It's that, that's what he would look like on the right, and that's what he looks okay. like in the left in the comic books. Okay, so he had a little. I guess did something happen with the character in the original well, series? What happened? They just changed him. I'm not sure why they changed him, but on the left, that's Changeling from the comic books. Um, he was just a you know a shapeshifter. He had a cool little cape and costume and whatnot. Obviously, he looks completely different. He's white. With like um, remembering Spider Man animated series. Um, God, who's the guy that Chameleon? Remember Chameleon? Mm-hmm. Okay, Chameleon looks just like that in this in that series. It's a, a blank slate basically. He transformed and all kind of stuff. And they made more a white dude in the um in the animated series. Went through all kind of trauma and whatnot and blah blah blah. And they're upset because now he is non-binary. And this, of course, they want to say it's woke and blah, blah, blah. But is he most not? shapeshifters in comic books are non-binary. I mean, is he really non-binary? Or just did he put a little mask on and, like, be the same guy? No, no, no. I mean, I mean that, that's the, they're, they're saying that he is non-binary. That, that They're making him non-binary. But I'm like... The creators are. Are, Huh? The creators are making them non binary. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, but most changelings, mo- they call them changelings. His name is Changeling, but I, you know, changeling shapeshifters are non binary in comic books. Mystique is non binary. It was my favorite X Men of all time, favorite mutant of all time. Okay. She's non binary. She's probably my favorite shapeshifter. She get her, and now they got this new guy, Camo. They can do anything and transform into anything, have any body part, have any, they can change their DNA at will. So to me, of course, you're going to be different things. Of course. Yeah. No, like no, if you're. I mean, so, like that makes sense. We just saw. Um, we just saw the character. Um, the one from Gen V. What was her? What was her name? What's it called? Uh, Gen V. Who was the character who just switched from oh, being yeah. a little girl? Um, I can't. Remember. Ah. Um, I, I know you're talking about the hamster. The hamster girl. Um, no, 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 not the one that got small. The um, the one that was switched from a boy to a girl. The second strongest, Jordan. Jordan. That's it. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Jordan, yeah. yeah. Who was actually? I liked her character a lot. Yeah, I did, so wrong. Was one of my favorite uh, in, the, in the show. But that doesn't make this show bad. And what they're going to explore, because remember in the original show, 
um, he was very good friends of Wolverine. They had a really good buddy pair, and they were just mm-hmm. going to go deeper into that pair. And people were like, oh, Wolverine wouldn't wouldn't tolerate that. Yes, he would. <laughs> How do they yes, like they talk to him? <laughs> Wolverine mutants in general are getting discriminated against all the time. Just like the great Stan Lee once said. He decided to make these mutants based off of real life experiences. How people are being discriminated against. What if I chose a group that was that were the downtrodden group, the group getting stepped on, you know? Yeah. And he wasn't even going to choose the word mutants at, at first, but now he chose the word mutants and it, it took off. Yeah. So the people saying this show is woke or people saying this show has a problem because of that, they're not real fans. The real fans of, the, of, of X Men know that anything out of the norm is going to be attributed to x-men that's what it means yes x, everything out of the norm and this show is going to take off i think this show is going to be amazing like i can go back now and the only complaint i have about the show i wish i really can't complain about is that wolverine would take his claws out every chance he got and ain't cut nothing <laughs> you never you never stabbed or killed anybody he ain't claws cut always nothing. out <laughs> He would jump at somebody. He could pu- he could punch. He could kick. He could tackle. But with them claws, didn't touch nothing. So it's like yeah, they're robots. It was Except, robot. Yeah, anything exactly. that's not living. Exactly. And um, I'm also obsessed with it with the villain, uh, Mister Sinister. They didn't show him in the trailer at all, which is why I'm not showing anything about him. But they showed Magneto. He's not going to be the villain. Mister Sinister is going to be the villain. Probably Mojo from Mojo World, maybe, and maybe it's somebody like Apocalypse or Nimrod. But Mr. Yeah. Sinister is my is one of my favorite villains of all time. Yeah. Um, yeah, but no, oh, this wait. is I, I would say generally, this has got me excited. Definitely when you take something like X-Men, which we grew up watching, one of the more famous cartoons, and you're gonna bring it I grew back. Up watching, you know, I don't know what the hell you doing. You said what? I said, I grew up watching. I don't know what the hell you were doing. Yeah, I, well, well, we grew up watching. Uh, I don't to, know who we is. to definitely take it and like bring it back and just kind of, I guess, not really reboot, but kind of extend that series with a more updated thing. It definitely seems expired. I mean, not expired, inspired. Um, to put the 97 in there, the animation is, is bumped up. I mean, this looks good, man. And obviously, with nostalgia, there's going to be a lot of pressure on this show to be really good and to aimed towards more of an adult audience because we're the ones who grew up with the show so um it's a lot of expectations in this show i know people are going to nitpick on little things they see i mean i've heard people talking about wolverine's voice because it sounds a little different the original it's the same actor it does it does. it's the same it's the actor same, he's just wait, wait, yeah. it's, you sure yeah it's the same actor it's just it's been what 20 something years since that, that show. Best way. cyclops so, sounds crisp as hell yeah and i don't think cyclops is the same actor I really, Darren, he, he sounds exactly the same. I, I, I was, I was blown away by like, yo, he still sounds the same. It's crazy. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I mean, I think they've done good with the voices. Um. No complaints there. But this, this seems inspired, man. So I'm, I'm definitely excited for it. Um. I can't wait to check it out. And I, and hopefully Marvel brings it. I know usually with animated shows, we usually get the better of any versions that we get because across the board, and maybe except with with Marvel um animated shows are kind of the best content you get as far as superhero content comes it goes way better than live action i mean we've seen it with dc um marvel yeah. stuff has been pretty good i mean it's hard to be like a winter soldier or something like that but their stuff still is pretty good and then obviously coming here with like spider-man x-men and all those characters so I'm not spider-man excited. is probably going to make an appearance in this show i mean that would that would be awesome man um mo- most definitely blending blending that in and remember. kind of giving us a, a world where we're bringing X-Men into this world and kind of seeing how them and some Marvel characters can kind of react. Cause it's easier to put it in a animation form than it is in live action. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Right. And I, like, if you remember that, um, Spider-Man and X-Men crossed over for like maybe four or five episodes mm-hmm. and the original was Spider-Man actually thought he was becoming a mutant because he was going through that, the, um, the mutation phase where he's becoming a spider monster. I forgot why he did that. It's been a, that's a long time ago. And he went to the X-Men for help and they couldn't help him. Um, so he was based, Spider-Man is a mutate, not a, mu- not a mutant. Yeah, because yeah, mutant and, born with it, mutate, something happened to you. Right, right, right. So um, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm super excited for this. I haven't seen the cartoon I've been excited for in, a, in so many years. Like a cartoon, besides yeah. Castlevania and Vox Machina, Cartoons have been out for me, and maybe the Star Trek cartoon, but now um, that I got this, 
but forgot yeah, Invincible as well. Throw Invincible in there. I forgot Invincible. Yeah, yeah. Invincible as well. Invinci- invincible is so to me. And I know a lot of people disagree with me as, as comic book fans, and that's fine. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Invincible past like maybe halfway through the comic book, and I kind of mm-hmm. fell off. Once they figured out who Omni Man was and he was evil, blah, blah blah, I fell off. And I, I didn't, I don't. I think the cartoon is doing much better than the book pace wise, I will say, which is a good yeah. thing. Because they could I, be making like 20 seasons, but I yeah. think they're gonna end it like on season like eight or nine. Yeah, I don't think they'll have that many for uh Invincible. Maybe but, maybe um, five or six. Yeah. But um, yeah, now this this seems definitely inspired. So I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. I mean, I want to see characters I haven't seen in, in a while. So mm-hmm. obviously, and it, it's been so long that it's just like I feel like we're gonna watch it, have those moments like, oh, I did forget about that or that habit. It actually makes me. I don't know if they have it on Disney Plus, but it makes me want to run back and just go watch the old cartoons again and kind of like they, be ready for when it jumps off. They do have the old one on on, on um, Disney Plus. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, and I, I'm and I'm telling you, you like. The Mr. Sin- to me, Mr. the parts of Mr. Sinister, who's gonna be the main villain in this one. Um, oh yeah. So yeah. Well, apparently gonna be the main villain in this one. Yeah, that that that's my favorite part of the show. Mr. Sinister will come in there with these big ass shoulder pads and let you know, hey, um, and you saw Jean Grey was pregnant in this trailer. Yeah. So she's probably gonna have cable. And what they did in the comic books was cable, they sent cable away to the future. And that's how he got that arm and all because he had because he had that virus. That arm is a virus. Okay. Take the organic virus. So they sent him to the future where there was a cure to get rid of it. And I don't, I don't, he didn't get it cured anyway. But I'm like, that's going to be adding more emotional trauma and more emotion to the story. And I'm obsessed with the anime. I'm obsessed with everything about this show. I'm, I'm going to be like, come on now. I might call out of work to watch this. Come on, don't do that. <laughs> All right. So for those of us like myself who don't, don't read the comics. Uh, don't know who Mr. Sinister is. Can you give me like a breakdown of who this character is and kind of where you think he's going to fit in with this show? Well, Mr. Sinister was in the original series. He was a human. His name was Nathaniel Essex. He did experimentation on himself to become a mutant or mutate. Okay. Um, and then I, I'm going to do a whole video on this and put it on this channel anyway. And they actually did one episode, maybe two episodes in the original series about him. Okay. Um, and he became you and he's like he's a scientist he's a scientist a biologist a genetic and a geneticist and he does constant experiments on mutants and for whatever reason but when he found the summers gene scott summers gabriel summers who was vulcan who was the most powerful summers and um see, i forgot havoc's name but havoc is the third brother the younger brother mm-hmm. um and when he found them oh that was it he was obsessed with them and that's what the whole that's what the whole arc with him is in the first series. Okay. Completely obsessed with the Summers gene and blah blah blah. And especially when they had a child. Oh yeah, he was ready. Sinister is my favorite, probably X Men villain, and we'll go over that. We'll go over some more nerd stuff later on. But I have to ask you. I'm glad you asked that question because I can re up on his origin because I believe his origin was he was a human first and did and mutated himself. Okay. Right. Now that, that's cool. It gives me to watch. So um, <clears throat> basically, on our scale, as far as as far as the trailer goes, and gets you excited. I mean, obviously, I think I, I know where you're going with this, but what would you rate it as far as just a trailer to get you ready, excited for the show? We're going one out of ten. Uh no, that's not our scale, sir. We have home yeah, run, I, I, price of admission. Home yeah. runs is, is is a top scale, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we doing sold out seats. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, just hitting on the nostalgia. I think this is a home run trailer. And if you don't know our scale, it's home run. It's basically it's above and beyond price of admission. Um, right below that, it means it's worth your money to go pay. And then we'll get run of the mill, which is average minor league, which is not very good. And then you know strike out, which is like don't make this <laughs> kind of Madam Web ish. But um, yeah. So um, no, I, I think this is a home run trailer. I think this is hit the right people. And obviously like kids these days watch this and then maybe they'll go back and watch, you know, maybe with their parents, you know, even older, maybe with their parents, you they go back and enjoy the original. So I, I think this is definitely a home run as far as getting me excited. And I think this comes out what March, That's March 20th, March 20th, March 20th. There we go. So uh, and on, go it's going to probably boost comic book sales too, for the X-Men because they're probably going to have uh variants. Variants is like different. Mm-hmm. Uh, style comic book covers and whatnot. I can't wait. I can't wait for that. I yeah, I wait. think I think this is about to really 
be kind of a if this show is is as good as it looks if it does well i think this will kind of be a renaissance of, of marvel animation where we might get another spider-man on the animated side because that was a very popular show well, um, a lot of well, I say a lot of things with um the different uh, Marvel characters will kind of come and be a good way to introduce them and give us kind of like how, how DC does. I think DC does a great job with their animation side of like getting character stories and kind of bounces out with what happens in the movie. So I think this is the intro because the Marvel movies aren't as popular on the animation side, but I think if they do something like this really well. It'll just be a whole new branch and kind of be that Marvel renaissance. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I'm looking forward to it. We'll, we'll be in here, I mean, hopefully every week when it comes out. I don't know whether it's coming out as a big cluster or it's just going to be one episode um, per week. If it comes out as a big cluster, I mean, we could always do just one episode a day. Yeah. We'll yeah, usually, um, if you knew what we do when big shows come out, um, I don't if they're all in the cluster, maybe we'll do a quick review episode by episode and then just wrap it up with a show. Or if it's one once by week, we'll get up here and we'll just react to the episode and talk about it. All right. So that's all we got. Got any more thoughts on this uh, series? Uh, no, man. This this looks good. This is as far as the animation goes with you. I'm as excited for this as I've been for an animated show in a long, in a long, long time. It just you know kind of brings you back to your childhood. So I, I'm excited for it. That's really all. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a child now, so I, I, I'm always excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stay as immature <laughs> as possible. <laughs> all right, so Darren, you know what? Oh, excuse me, flying. Then I want to give you a government name. You gotta use your right. FBI name. Hold yeah. on now. So, 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 flying it. If they want to talk to you about X Men, anything going on, where mm -hmm. can they find you? Yeah, man. If you want to find me, find it Johnson on Instagram. Um, I am on TikTok as. Said, Wait, Quentin, oh, I'm Flyter Johnson on TikTok as well, but I will be on the Minor League Films page for TikTok and YouTube. If you can see right, nope, up aside, right over there. So you can see that, and you pretty much find me there pretty much daily. Where can they find you, Scotty? You know, I didn't make the thing with my name on it all the way, but we got IG. I guess I did. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you can find me on IG at Scotty Get Down One, where I'm not really that active, but I am active on TikTok. On TikTok, probably daily, I'm going to post comic reviews, comic breakdowns. I read at least maybe um, per week. I probably read about half the comics that come out, and then I'll, maybe the weekend I'll, I'll pick up on them. But yeah, I, I do a view on every comic book you need to know. Most of them positive, but when it's negative, boy, I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm, I'm giving it to you. So all right, that's a wrap. We'll, we'll be back but wait, if you huh? want to find both of us, you want to find us together. Us. Ain't, no, ain't no us. Yeah, if you want to find us together, it's my league films as we pointed to on the bottom right. Um, pretty much everywhere you can find us, and we'll be up here on YouTube. Try to be at least twice, twice a week, maybe three times a week. Um, if we yeah. can, we'll try to get three. <clears throat> we'll try. And that's a wrap. Where I'm gonna find it. <laughs> Apparently, it's not. Oh, I got you. Boom. Oh, shit. That ain't it. Hold on now. Where is the thing at? Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna find it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vibe until we find it. Don't do that. Boom. Damn. <laughs> Boom. It's not going anywhere. Oh, that's crazy. Boom, got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. You thought. I got it. Uh-huh. <laughs>